Hey, it's Dave the Butterfly Guy here. So last year I'd made a video on six species of milkweed that thrive in the north. And I currently have three of those in my garden, the common milkweed, the butterfly weed, and the swamp milkweed. But one of the milkweeds I got really excited about that I don't have is the world milkweed. And so world milkweed, world as in like spinning around, that's a really cool, what I would call kind of a bougie milkweed. It's um, maybe a designer milkweed. No, that's probably not fair, but it is really a cool milkweed. And so I got some of that online, got shipped to me, and my world milkweed arrived today. So I'm super excited to talk to you about world milkweed and adding this host plant for monarchs into my garden today. So that's what the topic is today. So get ready to learn a little bit more about the world milkweed. I got the world milkweed from a nursery out of Jefferson City, Missouri. It was called Missouri Wildlife Nursery. And so they shipped small plants, small seedlings. So I've got one here. It's you can see very small. I got three of them. They cost $3 each, although it cost a little bit of freight to get it from Missouri to Minnesota. So I'm gonna plant these. Um, I did trying to decide whether I should do seedlings or seeds. I was gonna do seeds. You can buy seeds online from a number of spots. I'm gonna put a couple links to that on my uh, down below here on the YouTube video. So you can buy seeds or seedlings. With seeds, you have to cold stratify them, right? So I wanted to get going a little quicker than that, but cold stratification means you gotta either put them in the ground over the winter, or you need to put them in your freezer for probably up to at least 30 days before you plant them. So that's why I decided to go with seedlings. Seedlings are great. Um, they'll grow this year and optimistically they'll flower this year, but sometimes it'll take uh, the second year before they'll, they'll flower. So these uh, world milkweeds have really cool clusters of white flowers. They typically bloom a little later in the summer and into maybe uh, September. So, all right, so here's a little bit more about the world milkweeds or from one foot to three foot tall. So it's not as big as some of the other milkweeds like common milkweed or swamp milkweed. It's also got a really thin stem and out of that stem comes these world uh, leaves that grow from uh, up to maybe three inches and they're pretty cool. That's what I think it's such a bougie, cool looking milkweed because of the leaves. And so it's not as hardy as the big leaves on the common milkweed, but still monarch caterpillars will still love to eat these leaves. And then where do you grow it? It grows well in sun or maybe partly sunny, a little bit of shade, but mostly sun. And then it's again, part of the milkweed family, a weed. So it grows really well in poor soils like sand and clay and rocky soils. So I actually made up a little nice area with some organic soil in mind. Maybe I should have had a little uh, less quality soil. The world milkweed also, it can be a bit invasive. So not only does it grow and expand by seeds, but it also has these rhizomes root system that it'll expand through the root system over each year it'll keep growing and more shoots will come out and so you probably don't want to plant this milkweed if you have a small maybe city lot or flower garden you need to have a little room so thankfully i've got a bunch of room and so if it expands and grows i'm good with that so um, think about that and then here's the other thing it's maybe the most toxic milkweed so farmers typically don't like it if they have cows and cattle because they can get sick from the eating the milkweed. Or even if you have a dog that likes to munch on plants, it's probably not the best plant for your yard because it can uh, that toxicity can get to the dogs or cats. So um, again, I don't have a dog or cat and maybe it'll help keep the neighbor's dog out of my backyard. So um, I'm good with world milkweed. I wanna help the monarchs out, that's my goal. All right, let's get to work. Let's get down to the garden and get these planted. I've got my three seedlings for world milkweed laid out here. I'm putting them about 12 inches apart, putting them in a part of my garden in front of my windmill. So I think that'll be a good spot for it, room to grow. And 
when you get these seedlings with any flower you got to kind of work the plastic tray it comes in and then loosen the roots a little bit so I'm gonna just dig a hole loosen the roots a little bit and go ahead and put it into the ground here so I'm gonna lay these three out Loosen. You can see the root bundle, bundle is pretty loose in this one. So they don't need much water, but you know, anytime you plant a new plant, a little watering works out pretty good too. So I'm gonna move forward, plant all three of them, uh, and then we'll check in when I'm done. All right, I got my world milkweed planted, my fourth type of milkweed in my garden so again I'll give you some details on how you can get world milkweed if you've got some space and room for it to grow and you don't have a lot of animals nearby that might eat it that you don't want to get sick from the toxicity of the plant um, this is the right plant for you so that's all I got today it's Dave the butterfly guy signing out have a great summer a great growing season and help create habitat for our butterflies <laughs>